Hey guys, so um, this week I wanted to try something different and make you guys all a video of a week in my life during my SRP. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I don't want to get up. I have to go to Tempe Center for the Arts today and I'm dreading the drive. I just got back from Kumon and just working on some stuff for FICA. I'm compiling that list. It's taking forever, but um, super cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow to see Mr. Decker and the entire class and see how everything is going. Today was a lot of busy work. There was a lot of erasing and typing and gluing. I'll go more into detail with the blog post, but um, super super tiring yeah so see you tomorrow hey guys so um, I'm on my way to the Mason Community College for my class um, for my internship with FICA and I just wanted to like you know let you know that even though you have to drive a lot you like you get used to it um, I just feel like now I know where all the traffic points are so I can figure out uh, where I can divert my GPS and figure out something. Recently, I've actually had trouble thinking about why my internship and why my SRP is important. I don't know, it's just, I feel like, you know, there are people who are um, doing such great things and I'm over here, you know, um, erasing paper or finding research on insects. I don't know. Something I'm, I'm doing it isn't enough. There's no real world connection. I really, I don't know what I'm doing makes sense or is useful to anyone. At the end of the day, I feel like it's really interesting to see in a different perspective. And it's very awesome that I got so lucky with these two curators um, and organizations. But What's the, what's the deeper meaning? So what? So hopefully I'll have an answer to you by the end of the internship or maybe even Friday with her. I can just think a lot more about what I'm doing this for, why I'm doing it. So I just arrived at Mesa Community College, so that was straight 54 minutes. Let's go! So this is how it looks. It's not real beauty. I'll give you a brief tour about places I know. So that is the enrollment center right there. The fanciest building. That's the Mesa Community College clock tower. So it's just about nine, so it's ringing. That's the main building over there. The student services building. Um, this is the Thunderbird Student Success Center. I've never been to. about community college is that you know there's so many types of people and you never know 
about who you're gonna get and who you're gonna see. Um, so it's really cool. Wonkiest building yet. Of course it's not. Hey guys, so I just finished um, the MCC class for the day and it was super cool. Class is doing presentations right now on different places in the world um, like Dubai and New Zealand um, and just talking about the art culture and it's just broadening the scope of art and understanding like these different kind of cultures which is super super cool. It was really nice to hear everything about it and I'm super excited to keep on listening. Now I am headed home to make some food and um, work a little bit more on my exhibition stuff. So labeling and organizing myself, getting ready for my meeting with um, my faculty advisor um, on Thursday. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. Until then, insert driving montage. I'm home. I'm so sleepy. Hey guys, so story time. So I drive all the way to Tempe, so that's like 40 minutes, and I get there and I sign in, and then my supervisor is like, I'm not coming in today. Don't come. It's okay. Um, I'm at a friend's house now. I'm gonna go. He lives in Chandler, so I'm gonna hang out with him and get some work done there. I'll give you guys an update soon. Bye! No! You're not taking a picture! No! Oh my god. Hey guys, so today is day four of week four and right now I'm just getting ready for my meeting with Miss Isri, my faculty advisor at school today. And I'm also just packing up some clothes for my classmate and friend Lexi's donation drive for her SRP. It's always good to support your friends, thumbs up. But yeah, I'll keep you updated as the day progresses. Oof, back home. <laughs> ah, yikes. Hey guys, so I just got all of the artwork and I'm super excited to see everything and write everything down. My meeting went great with Miss Isarin and I know what I had to do. Awesome. I'll talk to you guys later.
Hey guys, so I just got back from Kumon and um, my parents just bought me a sweater, sweatshirt, and I'm so happy, it's so comfy. Um, today was really good. I got some good work done, met with Miss Isserin, and um, I guess just had a blast. I, I kind of relaxed today, so that was a good break from everything. But I'll let you know what happens tomorrow in Tempe Center for the Arts. So until then, bye bye. Hey guys, uh, I'm just getting into Tempe, so let me give you a tour of my crib. So this is the entrance, it's called Stage Door. It's a roof, walk in. Hey guys, so I just finished my time at TCA and I'm walking out. I'll give you guys the update in the car because somebody's coming and I don't want to get hurt. Bye. Hey guys, so I just walked outside and now I am going to the car. I think I'm going to grab something to eat because I'm super hungry. Today was fun. <laughs> I just spent my time working on the panels and editing this video because it has to be done by midnight and it took so much longer than I needed it to be. But all for you guys, right? Trying new experiences. It's so nice outside today and I'm so happy that I get to walk outside. It's a good day. As always, I'm stuck in traffic. Living la vida loca. So I just waited in traffic for 45 minutes. This huge, horrible crash right here. on Shea. There was a homeless guy right there, like right in the intersection, and I felt so bad, so I gave him whatever spare cash I had, because it's so hot outside today, and he looked like his face was red from inflammation, um, and I felt really bad, so I gave him like 20 bucks, but, you know, there was a guy behind me in a Beamer, and he didn't do anything. That just really pissed me off. Sorry for my language, SRP people. But um, it's so disheartening to know that, you know, all of us have been privileged with so much and none of us are really doing anything to help. I mean, there is the entire uh, question of how much can we do? They have to provide for themselves and take initiative for themselves, but we can't just like look the other way. I feel like that's inhumane, that's immoral. And I'm not asking everyone to be like hashtag Rockefeller philanthropist, like no. But I feel like giving back is so important to creating a sustainable community. And I don't I don't see that anywhere. Yeah, so that was my little two cents. I know it was like very random, but um Hey guys, so um, I'm just about done editing and I wanted to say goodbye for the week. Thank you for tagging along. I know that it was a little long, um, two minutes is pushing it for a YouTube video, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and the change from reading my um, blog posts and um, I'll see you in two weeks. Happy spring break to everyone.